is meant for an adult audience. Love Line may contain sexually oriented content. Sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. This is Love Line. Love Line. Love Line. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey, everybody. It's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Dr. Drew is a board certified physician and addiction medicine specialist. But more important, his biggest role, his greatest role, his greatest role besides playing the dad on the uh, Olsen twins flop is actually playing father. In real life. In real life. That is my greatest to role. To three adoring children. <laughs> it was father's. <laughs> <laughs> it was Father's Day today. It was. It was nice, too. What would you do? Uh, hung out. Just hung out. Mm-hmm. And had a huge... Uh, ate from morning till night. Mm. Yeah, that's what you want to do. <clears throat> and as I was uh, working out this morning, I thought to myself, wow, uh, this is not what my wife would be want to be doing on Mother's Day. Hanging and, out and eating? Not hanging out and eating, but I mean by myself in the gym. And then I thought to myself, you know something? The difference between Mother's Days and Father's Days. Mother's Days, they want you to wait on them. On Father's yeah. Days, we want them to leave us alone. Right. That's right. all we ask for. It's, we just leave us long. Just and, it it's, it's all you need to know between men and women, like right what there. those two days are. Because yeah. look at it this way. There's Mother's Day and there's Father's Day. If you're from a different planet, it's basically, here's how you would explain it. Well, one, you know, there's the parents and one is the male and one's the female. And each year they get a day eh, to be as they please. They, people take care of them. They shower them with gifts or cards. They, they Whatever their whim is, that's what takes place that day. All right. Well, let's let's find let's out. Examine which the one. Mother's Day. It is it is grossly in favor of Mother's Day. Mother's well, but Day. Wait a minute. That's just different. It's just different. I wouldn't yeah, put a it, valence on it. Well, it's let's just let's they, put it this way. Yeah. If uh, you got to sleep in, you sleep in and work out, like, oh, and, get, and get left alone a little bit, that's considered a a, a large victory yes. for Father's Day. Yes. If you let them sleep in and exercise in the morning, they're going to be PO'd. Very. Yeah. But that's not what they want. To yeah. Be fair. Yeah. But is, is is a guy, too, also the idea that you're whatever it is that whatever you open, whatever has a bow on it, you paid for. If it's got a bow on it, you bought it. So you could have got it yourself. There's that. Well, and then there's somebody made something for you at school. But that's, that's a disaster cool. that's because that looks like hell. And you have to keep your pens in it and display it. Well, that's you, you know what I mean? That. We had great well, food all day. Fabulous food. Mm-hmm. That was nice. Mm hmm. Mm. What'd you eat? What'd you do? Bagels and lox and egg egg frittatas and mm. just ate and ate and ate. Who and ate. who who did my wife organized it? My sister too. She got she brought it in. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, so uh, no big problems. No, fine. you're all right. Did you go to see your dad? Eh, I may have missed it this year. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Hup, up, uh, dad. Uh-oh. Yeah, I thought it was last week actually. You're Isn't kinda, it? You, but let's, let's be let's be honest. You're kind of angry with him. Well, that last know. phone call wasn't nah, your favorite. But, yeah. The seven hundred dollars in closing fees. Yeah, and, you know, there's and, always there's always something going on. You know, here's my feeling, really, as I really thought about it. And this is all anyone really has to do in life, because you know, I did, I miss Father's Day. I gave him a call. I told him to take right. him out to dinner. That's good. Later on in the week, but I really started thinking about, it and I thought, well, my dad as a dad was, there's a four. Oh, you give him a four now. I give him a four. It moved up from previous evaluations. Four. Well, you know, Just through the pris- through the prism of today's uh, point of view. I yeah, think. you know, one is you know drunken, pedophile, yeah. sexual okay. abuse. Right. You know, I thought those were negative threes. No, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't play. You that. don't give negative three stars. I don't give negative anything. Okay. Right. I get negative three and four stars, yes, yes. but I don't give them. I see. My dad was a solid. Uh, he was a he was a four. Mm, okay. He was a four minus. Yeah. I mean, and, after uh, all, you are literally a millionaire. Literally a millionaire. So he must have done something right, uh, yes. or not screwed something yes. up. Yes, yes. I he, guess he, didn't, he didn't pull out. Is what he did yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in uh, 1964. <laughs> That's what he did. It's like right. in the SAT, you get a 200 for filling in your name. That's. I give him. I give, give my, my dad. I give my dad a solid four. Yeah. Uh, good guy now, mm-hmm. but I just mean growing up as a dad, if you start bouncing and all that stuff, you know, how many ball games, uh, how much homework, how much, yeah, I, I give him a good four. And then, he, he, it's, if face it, he's pushing the limits now, too. Well, he wants a little money, but here's the thing. Here's what I realized. Yeah. And, th- and this lets you off the hook, and this is all anyone has to do in uh, life. Uh. Um, assess what the guy was, or the girl was, or the boss was, or the girlfriend is, and then all you got to be is a five, or four and a half. I just... I was, you, you have to be a five in return. I was in my expensive sports car driving the other direction from my dad's house today about noon thinking to myself, well, I'm at least a four and a half as a son. Yeah. 
All right. He's yeah. a four. I'm a four and a half. I don't have to be a nine. Yeah. I just got to beat him. That, yeah. That's all you got to do in life, everyone. You, you know what I'm saying? I hear you. If your partner's a pain in the ass and they're four, you just be a four and a half or five. All you got to be is a little bit better than the competition. Except strangely, the way the human is, uh, the, those with a dad that was at, who, in fact, was a one, they need feel like they need to be a nine. Yeah. For their, the child yeah. to feel like they need to be a nine. Yeah, but if your dad's lucky enough to sort of hover around the middle somewhere, and uh, I don't know what a nine or ten, and I'm guessing Bill Cosby <laughs> or Alan Thicke. Or someone else I saw playing a good dad on mm -hmm. TV growing up. Maybe uh, I was going to say the, the Brady dad, but it turned out to be gay. So oh, you got well, to duck two points. But here's here's the thing. If your dad's a four, you'd be a five. But if he's an eight, you got to be a nine. You know what I mean? you got mm -hmm. to be, you, be your job's to treat him just be just a little bit better. Same with the mom, same with the sister, same with the boss, same with everyone. Good times. Yes, Drew? Good times. Do you, what do you think of that? That makes sense. Your, your, your numbers evaluations. The thing, the thing about you, though, Adam, is if you'd lived 500 years ago, I think you would have been the Grand Inquisitor. Really? Yeah, you would have been, you would have been doling out justice. Really? Your version. Off with his head. Oh, yeah. Hassan Chop. Uh-huh. Okay. But do you agree with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, you know, your numbers, your, your, again, your sense of, your quantitative sense of justice is usually right on. Or well, your quantitative interpretation of human behavior is usually If your dad was a four, don't, don't mm -hmm. kill yourself being an eight. Yes, sir, Miss Grola. Thank you. Amanda? Caller who goes by Amanda? All That's right, got a nice BJ question. Always breaks my heart to see those oh. slip through the cracks. John? Uh-oh. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Hold on. How does it go? Uh, I don't know. You know, I believe in the great magnet. Yes. I'm an uh, atheist, but I do subscribe to the great magnet theory. Why is it when we have one call that doesn't say anything or doesn't get through or whatever, the next call, there's always a form Mississippi before they answer just to make us assume there's something wrong with the line? You would think that would be the one that would jump right in. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Don't hang up on me. No, I just, I just want to know in terms of the... the but but, but if, it, if there were anything that you would expect to happen, it would be the person listening would go, I'm here. I'm here. I'm, don't yeah, don't hang not, up on me. Not even that. I just mean, yeah, I know what you're saying, but I just it's, mean... It's so much farther the other way. Cosmically, yes. it's always far the other way, yes. and it's always, oh, we got a problem with the computer. Yes. Is that that, that popped uh, in your after like Absolutely. After two and a half Mississippi, you're like, we got a problem with the phone, phone lines. Phone's right. Right. So here's, here's what it is. They're waiting for me to say this. First 10 callers to get on the air tonight will win an iTunes gift card valued at $99. Those of you that are 18 years or older, first 10, 99 bucks mm -hmm. in a gift card. All right. Amanda's back, by the way. Yeah, see? John? Yeah. Hold on. See? You snooze, you lose. Amanda? Hi. You're 19? Yes. What's up? All right. Um, I've been going on my boyfriend for probably like nine months now. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I know I've been going out for nine months. <laughs> um, so whenever I give him head, he's like really, really, really ticklish. And it kind of mm -hmm. sucks because I really like to give head. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> And I was just wondering, like... He complains of it being too intense from the moment you start? Yeah, like, mm. it's like, oh, it's like too sensitive. It's like a mm. comfortable for mm. him. He, he's uncircumcised? Yeah. Oh, no, no, he is circumcised. Is he on medication? Uh-uh. Weird. Mm. Weird. And he's been circumcised his whole life? Yeah. Yeah, because once in a while I hear about someone who's not circumcised, and get it becomes too intense or overwhelming or something like that. But if his uh, Johnson's been splashing around his uh, tough skins his whole life, what and, is he six? <laughs> mm -hmm. No. How old is he? He's twenty-three. Twenty-three. That's too uh -huh. sensitive. All right, so either it's just sort of freaks him out, freaks him out a little bit, or it's just sort of nice way of him saying he ain't really that into it. Or is it something she's doing? But he's not, he can't, doesn't have the nuts to tell her, you know, this doesn't feel good. What you're doing doesn't feel right. Do mm. you have a sandy tongue? <laughs> no. It's not a bad thing, though, you know. Screw all those uh, tongue piercings. I don't want to hear what you do with stuff. the cats. I'm just I don't talking about, about I, you, Drew, until you felt the loving caress of a, all right. Of a feline. Amanda? Mm-hmm. All right, well, don't do this. He He's not... For whatever reason, he's whether, not well, yeah, into Whether it. it's his wiring, is there anything we should know about him? Does he have any medical problems? Anything? Um, no. I mean, I don't think it's anything I'm doing because, I mean, if any of... Um, Amanda, any, you no one, don't, don't skip right over listen, what I asked. idiot. Nobody asked you if it's something you were doing. Well, Somebody, I, I did bring that up, but I, my question well, this time... Well, earlier you said, yeah. is there any medical problems? Yes, that's what I want to know. Anything going on medically, injuries, medication? No. Was that a no? 
No, there's uh, nothing. Nothing. All right. All right. So hey. it's just him. He ain't into it. Yeah. For whatever reason. Okay. Sorry. Does that break your heart? A little bit. <laughs> Why? Why? You should be relieved. You've dodged your bullet. Yeah, I don't know. I just it's just something I enjoy doing. Okay. Uh, well, God bless you. And uh, Godspeed. It's 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 so sad that uh, somewhere there's a guy who loves the hell out of this and can't get it. I know. And then there's Amanda who loves doing it we and can't, can't be hooked up. We can't put those together. It, <laughs> that's what, what I'm about talking life? about. What is it about life? Yeah, Maybe this, there is a place for these dating services. Yes. You like to. Uh, no, there. Look, believe me, the gays got that all figured out. What are you, uh, Greco active? No, I'm a bottom. Okay, oh, Greco. Well, Gre now that they have a bunch of stuff they put on themselves, just to let you know. Yeah, no, I'm flags and devices and. Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm an omega passive. Oh, okay, you got you, you're in the These wrong line. These guys, you're, you're in the brown bandana line. That's the wrong line. You know, yeah, they work it all out. You know why? Because it's guys. Yeah. It's guys in charge. Yeah. You know, th this ends if this is a guy. This is like, look, you're not into, oh, okay, well, I guess we're breaking up. I got to get with a guy who enjoys whatever fill in the blank is. The blank could be my, my ass, too, by the way. But by the way, guys don't, see, gays don't do this. They're smart. They don't put up with that. They, How, they, they, why should they? They speak freely. John? Yeah, I'm here. You're 18? Yeah. What's up? Um, I wanted to know if, like, uh, if, if uh, I've heard, like, um, that loss of testosterone and, like, hormones and men could cause uh, stretch marks, like, make them more prone to stretch marks, at least. Lo loss of testosterone. Yeah, I if mean, you not, suddenly... Not, not lost, like, uh, uh, not having enough, or whatever that means. Well, this excess cortisol will cause stretch marks, and sudden weight increase, uh of any kind, even even if you've taken anabolic steroids like testosterone, it causes a sudden muscle growth, you'll get stretch marks. Well, what you about know, like um, like uh, ointment type steroids like a uh, hydrocortisone or something? No, not so much. They they can they can cause more of a they can, but more likely to cause a discoloration of the skin and blood vessels that kind of show up on the surface. John. Okay. Okay, but it can, it, it like um, Where are you going, John? Ask be specific. You're so clandestine. You're trying. You're you're like building a case. What is it you're doing that you want to know about? Well, uh, like, I want to know if it's excessive masturbation because uh, you lose testosterone when you do that. No, you, you, a, you, you, well, excessively you, you can drop off a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, sorry. Mm. Well, there's actually a sweet spot where it'll increase testosterone will go up for masturbation. Yeah. And then if you really go too far, it can kind of head off the other for side. For me, it's three and a half a day. That's where so that's your that's your sweet, sweet spot. Yeah, the half is tough. Yeah, but it's not going to cause stretch marks. Not not unless you're gaining weight. John. Yeah. John. Junior college. Um. Yeah, actually. Really. But I, I'm on my way to uh, uh, UC Davis. Of course. Uh, almost, of course. Almost there. On his way. Then then back to junior. Two hundred short more years. He's on his way to UC Davis, pick up a brochure, and right. then it's back to junior yeah, college for right. another forty years. Yeah. My All uh, right. my cousin my cousin actually did the same thing. He's in UC Davis right now. All right. Oh, it's happened. Adam, right. How dare you? All right. Yeah. Just one reported case. Damn. Uh, what is? Uh, I got I got recruited to play football at UC Davis. I know the, that uh, good. the but damn the hell's the name of their team? It's driving me nuts. I used to see it on it's like a sage hand. No, wait a minute. You see Davis. The, now they got a weird name. Damn. Oh. Yeah. It's, an, it's an animal, yeah? Mm, yeah. Conquistador. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out. Ted? Yeah? Ted, you're 19. Yep. What's up? Uh, I was watching Comedy Central the other day, and uh, I saw your uh, ugly mug up there uh, for a new show that you got coming out or something like that. What is that about? Hmm. What is the what is the impulse to say something <clears throat> like that? Yeah, he's he, just he's just goofing. joking. He's uh, just joshing uh, around. Uh, uh. Uh, I got a show coming out on Comedy Central after the Daily Show in about a month and a half or something like that. What time? Uh, will, really? What, be like, what, is it? what time is the Daily Show on? Uh, it'll be on at eleven thirty. My show will be on yeah. eleven thirty okay. to twelve. Half hour. It's sort of really? kind of kind of like a Larry King type show. It's, it's like a talk show. But not, really? not a big talk show. Yeah. I'm excited, man. I, I was all real happy to see that I was jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> jumping around? <laughs> all right, Ted. Well, look, if you, uh, if you like me, you'll uh, like the show. And if you don't like me, you'll hate the show. There you go. Mm -hmm. right. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, that's what I was explaining to the executives the other day where they were trying to um, 
figure out campaigns and uh, where do we launch and who do we talk to and what about print ads and all that. And I was just like, look, if if people like what I have to say, they'll watch a show. If they don't, they're not. You saw my thing. They had a huge launch. The ads everywhere. Same number with the launch as the next week without the launch. Same number. Oh, actually, went up a little. None bit. of those do anything. Well, I, I don't. I don't really. I don't really know. Uh, there's a certain percentage of life that really doesn't go one way or the other. It just costs money. But you, but you are obliged to do. You're obliged so to do Geneva it. Some Geneva Convention has decided this must go on. It's the parsley by the side of the plate yeah, yeah. at the restaurant. You never eat the parsley. You, you just sort of look at it. Usually, just sort of knock it off the side of the plate. But yet, they put it there. It's frightening not to do it. What if we could have made a difference by doing it? If things flop, what if you could have made a difference? Well, it's more, it's, it's the, to me, it's should've. more like we have a whole floor in this building dedicated to doing this. So they need to do this. The Aggies. And, and you're like, well, uh, the Aggies. You uh, still Because yeah, everyone's calling. UC Davis Aggies. Stop thanks. Stop uh, and here's, thanks, Anderson. The Aggies is uh, UC Davis' team. And here's the thing. If you don't do this, then you're out of a job. Like, we got to close this floor down, so don't worry about whether it works or not, and let's not even look at, into it. And by the way, there's no way to ever figure it out. Yep. I can tell you that, you know, movie posters put up does not really, uh, the amount of posters you see, the amount of commercials you see, doesn't really, doesn't really change things that much. I don't think there's any quantitative difference there. And as a matter of fact, Here's a good argument, Drew. Mm -hmm. If you see something you don't like, you'll go, screw that. Mm, you might avoid it because you see something, yeah, you might be as likely to avoid, you mean? Well, let's look at it this way. Let's say there was a car you really hated. Yeah. Or a chick you really thought was unattractive. Yeah. And somebody said, Drew, I want you to buy this car, so I'm going to put it on every billboard. Well, every time you pass it, you just hate it more. You yes. go like, now I'm definitely not yes, getting that I'm car, versus. or I'm definitely not going on a blind date with that chick because I've seen it and I don't like it. Yep. How many times do you see movie advertisements or TV new show launches where you just look at it and you go, oh, that looks like a flaming turd. Yeah. I'll definitely not be seeing that one. Or not on that, if you see a lot of stuff, you go, ho, oh, oh, ho. Yeah, so that something something feels, feels like overcompensation. Yeah. But that's all I'm saying. You know, you could probably dissuade People yep. from watching your thing, just from them watching. People are, going, I don't people like are that pretty guy. savvy, you know what I mean, about what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all just part of the you got to do it. You yeah. know what I think it is, To I think it's for the talent half the time. Half the time. To make you feel like you're... Yeah, not not you. But, I mean, if you're doing a new sitcom with Jennifer Aniston, you have to do a bunch of stuff so Jennifer Aniston feels good uh -oh. about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You know, going, we're giving a big launch. Mm -hmm. We're, putting, we're getting behind we're, you. We're buying it. Yeah, we're getting behind We believe in it. Mm -hmm. We're getting behind you, so we're going to waste a bunch of money on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. All right. Alex? Yeah, hello. 18? Yeah, I'm 18. What's up? Virgin? Yeah. Oh, I'll Female. be honest. But Female. first off, well, actually, you knew I was a guy. I'm surprised. Okay. And yeah. I, I, everyone thinks I'm a girl at first. No, I, when, I, when I hear a dude that sounds like a chick, I hear virgin. I don't hear chick. All right. What's the question, Alex? Okay. Currently, this has happened to me. Chicks don't say times. hello. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Mr. Mooney. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I just heard a big static thing, and I was like, what happened? Did they disconnect me or something? Okay. There you well, go. What's up? Okay. Um, I'm on several medications, and one of them is missing. Uh, I'm out of it, and the, the pharmacy is a pain in the ass. But I, did I cut the line? No. Okay, anyways, um, it, it's a pain in the butt to get a new medication, so I've, I'm out of it for, like, at least another week, I'm guessing. Why and is it a pain in the neck? Because it, it's just that it's, I don't know. It's like you call it in, that at, they've actually lost it at times. So you didn't you didn't order ahead of time? You no, ran out before you reordered? order while we still have, like, a week left, and then, like, they either lose it or, like, it just isn't there. Or All right, and so what's the medication? Uh, this one right now is uh, Seroquel. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. You're, you're, is, there's no withdrawal from that, but you can get. How much do you take of that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, four, four, no, two pills, two pills at night. And how much in each pill? Uh, huh? Oh, I don't. It, I it, think come, it comes in fifties, hundreds, two hundreds. Do they have numbers on them? It should say Seroquel, one hundred milligrams. It's in the triple digits. I know that. All right, but, so it's probably hundred uh -huh. milligram. So, so it's so two of them. Yeah, you're gonna be all right. You you you'll, might have some trouble sleeping, and you might feel a little so agitated off it. Three days off. Yeah, I've 
three days without sleep. What, what's but up, Alex? Huh? What's he got? What's he got going in his life? Uh, uh, bipolar, OCD, uh, ADHD, mm-hmm. Korea's form. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I've been something about dysgraphia, but that's not psychological. I don't well, think. the Korea form thing is more of a Tourette's. Tourette's they sometimes yeah, do it's, this it's kind related. Of thing. They, oh, really? Yeah, they, like they call it a dance, dance or something. Interesting. Saint Vita's dance. Interesting. Hey, hey Alex. Alex, quiet down, quiet down. Uh, you sound smart in uh, uh, World War even, II aircraft. Even, uh, you know World War II aircraft. Good. Nice. Messerschmitt 262, my favorite. First jet propelled aircraft ever. This yeah. is the advantage of being OCD. Yeah, you just sit home and read. Well, it's that's, also that's the advantage funny. of not getting laid. Mm-hmm. You get smart. <laughs> mm-hmm. You got, yeah, you got to put the energy goes, somewhere. You, it, God says to us, uh, 17-year-old males, you, you want to be smart or you want to get laid? Most guys just run right for the no, laid. They, they all laid. raise their hand that yeah, way, like, but then he goes, no, 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 nope, 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 sorry. You back there, back to the, back to the smart. He ends up kicking 80%. <laughs> yeah. I was the idiot who didn't go either direction. I just stood there like, I, 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 I'm, you know what? I'm kind of on the, and then they just slammed both cages and I couldn't get into and either one. And that's when you became an atheist, Remember, right? Then you lost all faith and in and not God. getting like Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's awesome. take a break, shall we? Yeah. 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 Before you start crying. Medication. Oh, man. What is it, Drew? Um, what is, what is the deal with the uh, pharmacists in this city? Is there <laughs> some sort of law that says... Not only can you not speak a lick of English, and uh, but I can't recognize what you are. You know what I mean? Like if I, you know, I carry a, a ethnicity a laminate in my wallet. Little, I like to like break a, it down. A yeah, cheat sheet. Yeah, let's see. Mm, ooh, it's different between Mexican and Nicaraguan. Did not know that. But you know, it has all the big one. Has the big like the top twenty on there. These people are not in the top two hundred. I have no idea what the national... I don't think they do either. And whatever broken form of whatever they're speaking, it's always difficult to understand. And it's just crazy. But what is that, Drew? Who made it a law that pharmacists can uh, just have no... They don't resemble anything you've ever seen. Only in Southern California. Is that only in Southern California? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then I go home. He, then I go home and I turn the TV on and, oh, there's old Pops Madison there. And he's got his bifocals and he's looking down and he's going, you know, I just looked on my charts and it says here you're diabetic. You don't want to take this. Let me go ahead and mix you up something. And then I go to my guy and I got the uh, Johnny Quest villain guy screaming at me in some broken tongue. I have no idea guy, what's going guy on. Guy even. That's good. Oh, I did find a guy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Usually yeah. it's... It's usually crazy chick. Diminutive. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Drew, these are people, obviously they're intelligent. Here's my theory. Here's my theory with all pharmacists. All right. They are doctors or something close in to their it other in their other country. Yes. They're amazingly well-educated yes. people in their and other they country. Here, did a four-year they came program. over here. Nobody could understand what yes. the F they were saying. Yes. And they couldn't be physicians because... People had no idea where they couldn't communicate mm-hmm. with them, but yet they had these degrees. Mm-hmm. So they did a four-year program here. And they did a four-year oh. program here. The Rite Aid in Hollywood hired them, and now I can't understand the thing they're saying. There you go. Is that what happened? That had to be of what so happened, for right? For a period of time, that probably is that period of history, yeah. Like 750 years, yeah, as far yeah, as roughly, I can tell. Roughly, yes. Give or take. Oh, I guess it's better than some hot chick in there, some like hot blonde, and mm-hmm. you're in there trying to get the herpes cream, and they're like, whoa, mm-hmm. go on a big weekend. <laughs> you know, and I, yeah, well, yeah. Mr. Crawler. <laughs> <laughs> is that crab? Does that crab shampoo come in a tub, or is it just to squeeze out? Uh, well, if you, Mr. Crawler, you may require the tub, but, but don't forget the Lacombe. We have a dipping barrel. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Drew. Yeah, but probably better yet. Probably yeah. better off yeah, this yeah. way, yeah? yeah? of course. Same reason you used to buy your condoms in Koreatown, Ch- yes? Chinatown. Chinatown. Yeah. Pardon moi. We'll take a, a quick break. Well, wait a minute. Can we go to break? What, what are you doing with all those condoms? <laughs> you sell two friends? <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm a hornet. Don't I know you? <laughs> yeah, Drew right. scoring there condoms in Chinatown. We'll take a quick, quick break. We'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. And yeah. Yeah. Producer Ann at the helm tonight. Let me tell you something. The she, engineering helm, that is. The engineering helm. She's normally at the helm of the helm, but now she's... and she's. It, this is like a ship, and she's the captain, and she doesn't... Take the wheel that often. She'll, no, she will. She takes the wheel, ah. but if she's got to go down the engine room... Oh, yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. gr- grease some bearings. And get the navigation system up. Or 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 go down to the, go down to the galley. She'll do it. 
and uh, start rattling the pots and pans. What's she yes, doing? Yes, Anderson. I'm, I'm confused. What's she doing? Yeah, why is Some, she doing that? Something. She, she's doing Chris's job tonight. Which is Don't nothing, say Chris's but... job. It makes it seem like anyone can do it. But why is she she's doing, doing Michelle's right? job. Yeah. Why? Yeah. In, in Ann's own word. Oh, she can even pot, pot herself yeah, up. Yeah, throw your mic this. on there. Eh? Yeah. This one says announcer, A-N-N. Yeah. Michelle knows A-N-N. It. What what A-N-N. happened? Uh, Michelle's not here. Rick is here. There she is, yeah. yeah. Uh, somebody didn't show up for work. Nice. So, yeah. Why don't so you explain here. to them what the job is, Ann? That'd be good. Chris's job. It's actually quite difficult. Yes. You have to push two buttons, and that's about it. Yeah. yeah. But then what about uh, 30 seconds in the show when Anderson yells, Turn the guest up! <laughs> then, you know, you have to pot yeah, up the guest. Yeah, will you do that for me, Anderson? <laughs> yeah, I already did it. I said turn Drew up. You didn't hear me? That yeah, was we, before that she was sat down. Oh, that was over. before, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's good. Everything's perfect right now. Well, right. thanks. Well, there you go. And uh, I don't know if this is... Uh, Man, there's no unions, is there? Shouldn't radio engineers be in some kind of union? They have unions. Yeah. I think how we all hate Chris each other be, too much. How can Chris be in a union and get ten dollars an hour? Must not be a union. All right. At least that one that would have Chris or Anderson. Let's. Uh, whoa. I'm just saying. Oh, no. I'm just saying. I don't mean. I don't mean the. Hey, we're just hearing, brother. Ken. Twenty six. All right. I'm uh, already bothered. Bipolar, no, no, OCD, no. Germany, Florida, oxycontin, oxytocin, oxytocin. Kelsey? Yes. You're 22? Yeah. Kelsey's one of those names for a chick that could go hot but could go south, too. You, well, you, you old, don't know. Old, I went old hot, name. so. <laughs> oh, you went hot? Yes. Hmm. What do you look like? Um, let's see. I'm 5'8". Well, I normally have brown hair, but it's kind of got, like, blonde in there right now, and I'm... I'm very pretty. I get told a lot I look like Julie Roberts, but wow. I don't see it, but I've got that kind of look. You're fat. There. Well, why can't you see it, by the way, when someone tells you, a lot of people tell you, you look like this person? I just don't think I do. Well, I've been described by uh, Jimmy as an ugly Pete Sampras many times. I don't know why I put the word ugly in front of there so you look like Pete Sampras. You look like him. I never thought of that. All right, but I don't go, oh, no. How dare you? Yeah. I like. I go, all right, well, he's got nappy hair and a big eyebrow and his oh, dark no, complexion. Oh, no, I take that right. as a compliment and I thank them. But all right, Kelsey, I what is the question? Like, Here we huh? go. Here we go. What's the question? Okay, so I've got two weeks left to go in my pregnancy. Go oh boy. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering if there's any way other than sex I can get my body to make like big amounts of oxytocin. Or if there's Why? any other way I can... Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's the, the process? Pro- hang out. What, what's the problem? I want to go into labor. <laughs> Does that get you into labor? No. Drew, is that what women produce when they have sex? Yeah. You know, they think they produce? Yes. I mean, they, it helps. It's sort of a bonding hormone. When you have the baby, you'll be flooded with that hormone. But look, you'll but be... Isn't that what they give you or um, some yeah. type of it to... Look, look, uh, when they Kelsey, you? Kelsey. What? Yeah. W- when do you do? July 5th. All right. That's when the baby's going to come. Just relax. Why do you do you want to have I mean, you I don't, you don't want to have it. Yeah, but you, you don't, don't want to have it prematurely, oh, do you? Extremely. Yes, I do. I'm so uncomfortable, and it's so hot, and he's huge. <laughs> oh, really? It's going to be like a nine-pound baby. Are you diabetic? What? Are you diabetic? No. No, he's not going to be nine pounds. Who else? No, Who's they, kid? they just said from the ultrasounds that... Um, if he keeps growing the way he is and I go full term, he's going to be like eight and a half pounds. So. Yeah, maybe eight and a half pounds. Do you, do you have uh, another kid? No. Oh, who's that in the background? Oh, that's my niece. <laughs> oh, how old is she? She is four. Hmm. Yeah, an induction. When, what's she doing? Why are you living with your niece? Oh, well, my sister and I live together, so. Hmm. Why? <laughs> By the way. Why are you living with your niece? Oh, her and her mom. My mom and I live together. Yeah. Yeah. No, no ass. What she do? Drop out of, uh, what do you do? Kindergarten or play playtime or nap time? She dropped out. She's on her own. She's uh, living she, with her auntie. She's driving. She's got a, she a permit to operate heavy machinery, but uh, she's on disability I'm, right I'm, now. I'm imagining something more like she, that, that girl. No, I'm talking about the four-year-old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she's yeah. Going to the city on her own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kelsey. Well, okay. We all live together. So. Oh, I see. I see. Why? Yeah. Why? Um, I don't know. We always have, so it just... 
Well, everyone always lives with their siblings until they smarten up and move out. And have a family of their own. Right. Well, we, we will eventually. I mean, when I get married and stuff, I'll go. Why aren't you married now? Why aren't I? No, no why no. isn't your three-year-old niece married? <laughs> oh, my sister? She was. Does your sister have a husband? Um... Oh, well, this is a tricky question, Ab. How dare you? Trick, trick give question. Give her a few minutes. Okay, no, give, her, give her breath. Yes? Divorced. 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 All right. And how about you? Me, no. I haven't what's found a- one yet. I chose Mr. Wrong, so. All right. So what's up with you two? You just, your, your, your thing is you're just going to... How old's your sister? Is she older? Yeah. A couple years older? Five. Yeah, just a couple. I'm, They're just going to have a little farm. Yeah, we're going to just sit around, crank out kids, and live together? Yeah. What's up? Where's your dad? Is he gone? Your, Is he out of the picture? Your abuse of abandonment. My dad? Oh, I yeah. never knew my dad. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, there you go. Yeah, the circle of life. Yeah. Proves itself again. Akuna Matata. Your kids won't know their dads, and uh, neither will your sister. So it's awesome. No. no, they do. They do. No, they won't. Yeah. Where's, yeah. How's your You kid? said it yourself. You're going to get married and have a family, and that's it. Who are you get married to? Um, I haven't found him yet. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm guessing that's not the guy who got you pregnant unless he's built some sort of time machine. No. So your kid's not going to know his dad. That's fine. No, it's just will. Where is he? Where's the dad? The kid's dad? Yes. The baby? Yes. Please. Oh, he's, oh my. He looks your kid, your child. Mm-hmm. Okay. Please, <laughs> Kelsey, do me a favor. Oh, my. Do not... Do, do not go home from the hospital with your child. Go to the junior college and just shove the kid in the mail slot. That's it. Get them started early. Because I can smell junior college from like 300 nautical miles. Kelsey. Yes? The person that got you pregnant, he's a man. Yeah. He looking like a man. He looking like a man. Now, <laughs> where is he? Well, he lives here, and we're going through issues right now, but... Do you think you may marry him? No. How dare you? Why would she remind the But he world? lives with you. No. Oh, he lives here. No, you mean together. you mean you mean Earth? No, we're not together. I know, but where, where? you said he lives here. He lives in the same town as me and stuff. And same town. All right. Yeah. Well, at least that's refreshing. He'll be. You might run into the kid somewhere on the street, although they won't recognize each no, other. But not. I think a father, father has an instinct about that. Sure. Um, all right, so I'm just I'm just curious how the guy who fathered your child is going to know your child. He's just you're going to share custody. Um, I'm not sure yet. I mean, okay. okay, all right. And this whole deal about you taking over your pregnancy and uh, inducing labor—a horrible idea, mm. Kelsey. You should not be making decisions like that. You follow the direction of people who know what they're doing, and that's that. Yeah. Same thing is true with with your child once it's born. Have a pediatrician. Take care of the child. Do what they tell you to do, and that's it. Yeah, and we'll we'll uh, see if this guy makes the uh, kid's even, third birthday. Didn't even go to junior college. No, no, but yeah. I'm saying, God willing, the kid does. Yeah, it was you know, but things, just things improve generation to generation a little bit. I'm starting to figure out the average the average time spent in junior college is like 26 years. But if you go ahead and shove your kid through the mail slot when the kid's six weeks old, they can finish at 26. The finish at yeah. 26 yeah. instead of a 44. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. All right. That's a good plan. That's no, you know, you know mm-hmm. what? No, I'm not kidding. Bad. Literally. I'm literally not kidding. You're literally shoving you kids literally through the mail slot. shove the fetus through the mail slot. Hey, Adam. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Cut out the middle man. You birth into the mail slot. Just have at the, birthing at the slots. junior college. Okay. Birthing slots. And, That's and right. just held up a sign about the iTunes. She'd like me to mention that again. Go ahead. First 10 callers. That would be Kelsey amongst them. Uh, wins an iTunes gift certificate worth $99 if you're 18 or older. Yeah. Tonight. I get the feeling if Kelsey heard music coming from a small object, she'd, she'd try to out. pry it open and yeah. let the band out. All right. Let's not be... So- Drew, come on. Let's go. Now. Come on. You're Kelsey confused. sounds like a delight. Yes. I listen to my iPod all day today. It's a wonderful device. Ben? Yeah. You're 20? Yep. You have an ingrown toenail? Yeah, for about 11 years now. Well, Off some of those, the, 
those tend to be sort of genetically based. How does that work? Uh, some people have, my, one of my sons has this, too. His nails just sort of are genetically set up that way. Sometimes they even curl in. They just grow into the skin? That's just the way you're set up. Is and, that gold yeah. ingrown? See, that was yeah. another one of my questions, if, was, and if I could have inherited it, because I know like, I've had uncles, yeah. grandfathers, the same problem. Yes, it, it is a genetic disorder, and uh, basically the, tr the treatment is either pulling the whole nail out or at least cutting the part off that's mm. uh, in crown. I'm amazed at the uh, percentage of people that have funky feet. Mm -hmm. It's a weird thing because not that many people have funky ears. You know what I mean? I mean, well, your you, ears you, you develop, see a guy ears with a weird the ear. Same time as your kidneys, interestingly. So people have kidney problems, have ear problems. Oh, but the really? feet is a complete is a thing that develops late in the periphery. And, well, you know. it's the fetus. My fetus. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, here's what I'm saying. I Women and men, even beautiful women, you, you see their feet sometimes like, whoa, what, what, what goes on here? What happened here? And I see a lot of people like funky flat. And, you know, I, see the, I see the people with the second toe that's like an inch longer than the big toe mm -hmm. and weird, weird angles, weird stuff. And I'm, I'm amazed at the percentage of people that just have strange looking. And I guess there's plenty of opportunity for God to F up because you got the 10 digits down there. You got the 10 digits upstairs. Mm -hmm. That's 20 things that go wrong where there's only two things that could really go wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. My, uh... Developing late, too. Yeah. My wife was just, you know, my wife said, uh, the other day, said, give me your hand. So I <laughs> took my hand, she took my fingers, took my fingers, and she, like, threw them back at me and went, like, Pleh. And I went, what's the problem? She said, no problems. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing she can cut or pick right. or push or tame. You know, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then I started real realizing, I have beautiful, beautiful <gasps> fingernails. You, Look at oh that. Oh, my God. The pristine. Oh, Adam. Look, at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful, pristine. Oh, we have, yes. to go, we have to go to the bathroom. Pristine, yes. Let's go. Come on. And let me tell you something about nails too. Same thing as uh, all this other crap. Not not a not a uh, cuticle stick. Never soaked in anything. So you either have good nails or you have bad nails. Mm -hmm. But everything through bo, bad breath, everything. Genetics. Just genetics. Some people stink. Some people have bad nails. Some people's hair falls out. But good times. Yeah, but is it the shampoo or how they brush or how they bathe? Is it any of that stuff? Now let's look at the toes, Drew. No. Look, no. Look at the toes. Nice looking. They're attractive, yes? Attractive toes. Ooh, a little smell. A little smell, but, you know. Well, we got a little bit of the ingrown I stuff I was working here. out. Little ingrown? A little, little bit of the, the uh, curling in stuff. Little, little bit. It never bothers you, though, huh? We no. never, you never wear shoes. You wear sandals. That doesn't, doesn't feel like anything, though. They're nice, They though, look right? uh, youthful. They're youthful. Yeah. They're good-looking yeah. feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The other one's like fine, Sampras. too. Ugly Pete Sampras' feet. I didn't know, yeah, if, if Pete Sampras yeah. had ugly feet, that's what the, yeah, yeah like, an, yeah. I didn't know that uh, most people's feet were different sizes either. What do you mean different sizes? I oh, from one another. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah from one another. Oh, yeah. Not if the world's pot yes. me and Asian <laughs> women. I thought we were all like 11 and a half. Yes, from one another, yes. Yeah, like a half off. Yeah. I never, I didn't figure that out until like six months ago. Are yours the same exactly? No, they're a half off, yeah. so I would try to p randomly try a shoe on and go, oh, this ten and a half is way too tight because I would try it on my 11 foot. foot. But you want to do the big foot, though, because... Yeah, but I, I, don't, I didn't know it until six yeah. months ago. Yeah. The next time, I would try the 11 on the ten and a half foot and go, these are too sloppy. Mm. See, I'm an idiot. All right. Drew, you know the name of the thing that measures your foot? Huh? No. Brannick device. Brannick. Interesting. Brannick device. Well done. Yeah. We will uh, take ourselves a little break. When we come back, we'll uh, talk to uh, Vanessa as Harry Nipple. See, bad hand. Mm -hmm. All that after this. Hey, everybody. It's the Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Tonight, our guests, and the reason... Oh, sorry, I didn't uh, bring uh, <laughs> Justin up. Justin Long's here from uh, Herbie, the uh, love bug. Bug uh, fully loaded. It's just Herbie fully loaded. I don't think Got it's it. Herbie the love bug. When we were growing up, Drew, I think it was Herbie yes, the it uh, was. love bug. But yes. uh, Justin had a little trouble with the car service, and uh, tonight was the big premiere, yes? Yeah, it was. I'm sorry, by the way, that I'm, I was uh, out of my hands, and uh, you well, know these car services. It's all, all is forgiven. I just didn't, I didn't plug Justin because I wasn't sure Good if show. he was going to yeah. make it in or not. Yeah. But uh, here he is, and uh, we're tickled pink, are we not? Yes. <laughs> Justin, uh, I uh, I know him best from uh, Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers too because I love that kind of stuff. Mm. But uh, you may know him from Crossroads, which was another movie, by the way. And I didn't, oh, I didn't know you could do this. I mean, that's oh, the uh, Britney Spears thing. But the point is, is there was another 
movie with Ralph, Ralph Macchio called Crossroads. It was made in like 88 yeah. huh. or 7. He's or, like a country singer. He was like a blues yeah. singer. And I'm often compared to Ralph Macchio. Anyway. Oh, you're... So you're spitting image. I'm, I'm today's Ralph you're Macchio. You're today. I well, wish I was. When Macchio it's left the comparison. scene, there was a huge void left <laughs> behind him, sure. and Justin's here to fill that void. I'm trying. Like, it's very flattering. Drew's done the same thing, except for with a boring guy. A boring yeah. guy left, celebrity. I don't know who it was. There was an opening, Gutenberg. and Drew slid in. Yes, when Gutenberg left, Drew slid in. There you go. Uh, the show, uh, the movie, I should say, uh, Herbie Fully Loaded, uh, starts uh, June 22nd. Is that this Friday, Thursday? It's a Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Wednesday release. And uh, it's a Disney movie, I'm guessing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you got the uh, still redheaded at the time, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, she was still in the red phase. Mm. How's she doing? Diane Keaton? Oh, Di oh, main Michael Keaton. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Diane myself. Keaton stopped by a few times. Wanted to be in the movie. Well, she saw her name <laughs> on, on a trailer and just decided to head in. And uh, and uh, what about uh, Matt Dillon? How's he to work oh, with? Matt. Matt Dillon was great, man. You know, it's a little, uh, he's done a lot of things in his day, so he's a yeah. little... He's feeling. He's great, though. I, I'm a big fan. I, had a, I loved him. I'm digging his uh, brother in uh, Entourage, by the way. Mm. Yeah. I enjoy that show. Mm -hmm. I know people think I'm a lightweight because I enjoy it. No, I heard it's a good show. It is a good yeah. show. But it's one of those shows that people are kind of like, they, they, they're they sheepish about admitting they like it. Mm. But it's good. Mm -hmm. What the hell? It's like Us Weekly. Yeah. Yeah, you'll read it. You can admit it. Yeah. You pick it up. So uh, the movie, and what what's your role in the movie? What's your part in the movie? Uh, I'm sort of like the the dude. I guess it's just her friend, her her maybe love interest, kind of G-rated mm -hmm. lover. Do you get to kiss? We kiss. We G-rated kiss. <laughs> so you got you kiss Britney Spears and you got Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, pretty, that's pretty good. Hey, you got Lindsay Lohan nice. up top. Yeah. You can't see this, but I'm high, trying to high five. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. Drew. Yeah, pow. We nice go. job, Drew. Well done. I was watching like. Uh, my entertainment tonight and uh, Hillary Duff. I've had a uh, secret. Uh, I'm dying to work with her. Crush on for uh, many, many, oh, really? many years. Ooh, I, now. Well, well, you don't know what that means. Yeah, taboo kind of crush on her. S found sea out, of you know what? Found out she was going out with uh, one of the lead singers of uh, the, uh, the Good uh, Charlotte. Good Charlotte. Oh. And I thought, oh, I got I got to start a band. <laughs> yeah, one of our good Charlotte buddies. Yeah. It's like you ogre, stay away from my beauty. <laughs> sure to picture him with his eyeliner and his big gut and schnoz, and I thought, God, <laughs> if you want to know why to start, you know, you know why? This is why. This is why you got to get in a band, everybody. I mean, nothing wrong with uh, the good Charlotte good boys. Yeah, they just get a band. Yeah. I mean, I was just looking at my, you know pristine blonde headed princess and she's uh, with this guy and I thought to myself oh this is why you get in a band you, you remember the good Charlotte boys oh yes nice guys yes but not remember <laughs> well, I forget <laughs> which say. one that we said we, he said I love this show I would do it every night we go come back whenever you want you show up the next night <laughs> oh yeah that's right that's true because I'd come back every night and could we go yeah come back come back every hey show up the next night <laughs> yeah yeah we go you gotta watch didn't out. mean that literally <laughs> yeah but uh, that was uh, that was about a year ago or so yeah. well we like the good Charlotte guys but I mean Benji Benji did that Benji yeah. did that I think Joel is the one I think that, his that brother Joel his hands on Hillary. Yeah. is putting his grubby paws yeah. all over my beautiful <laughs> Hillary Duff Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She was going to stay pure for me, or at least that's how I, you know, that's part of the note that I made when I just cut out letters <laughs> from <laughs> the newspaper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Let's take a call. You want to take a call? Yeah, yeah. Don't. No call. No call. No call? No call. No call? No call. You don't want to take a call? No calls. I well, guess what, brother? Guess what that earned you? Pow. We're taking a phone call. What do you think of that? Uh-huh. Try devastated. to control me? Devastated. Vanessa? Yes? You're 19? Oh, God, you guys just got me right when I'm in the toilet room. Wow. The wow. toilet room. The you're, toilet in the, room. you're in the toilet room. That that just sounds like a living room with a toilet <laughs> in it We're playing flu. So, do you, have, do you have nipple hair? Yes, yeah, like five of them. Speaking of Hillary Dove. Yeah. Oh, oh. I don't know. Too much uh -huh. information. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a normal and a common thing there, uh, Vanessa. I know. Okay, mm. okay. Um... Like, if you shave them, will it, like, be worse, or should yeah, I whack can, them? And how about you oh, pluck them? Yeah, if it's only five of them, might as well kind of pluck them. But there are electro electrolysis and laser and other things that can be done if they get to be more recalcitrant. Yeah. Okay, but if you were to whack them, would that, like, irritate the areola? Oh, God. Uh, mm. No. Yeah, you could do it. Oh, you wax your bikini area. Wouldn't that hurt? Yeah. I mean, can you, is that too sensitive an area to 
To wax? I mean, uh, to put it in wax. I, mean, well, well, I have one sensitive one nipples, yeah. yes, and it's true. Yeah, 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 even you pluck yours with great regularity. Oh, my nipples? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's my right thing. <laughs> yeah. So, but I, I think plucking might be less traumatic to I the I go area. plucking. Yeah. I tried to pluck something uh, this weekend, Uh-oh, and I have from uh, where? Oof. I had a hair growing out. Why did of I my, ask that? I had, a, I had a hair growing out of my ear. <laughs> oh I yeah. Get at it. And here's the uh, thing: bad tweezers. <laughs> Is there anything worse than bad tweezers? And they're the crappy ones that are sort of—they're um, not machined at the end. They're just sort of cast. Yeah. You know, and the ends are sort of small and round. And you keep and you you think to yourself, who? invented these goddamn things. I want to kill them like on your fifth try and then right back into the drawer. They should be thrown away. My That's wife, what I realized. My wife has a series of those tweezers that you could do neurosurgery with. Oh, really? Oh, absolutely. I no, got to get some of those. fitted stuff. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's like, like, like a snow blower and a, and a grappling hook that blows out of one. You could repel down a building. It's, it's more the sort of hand fitted in your hand and surgical you know, air, aircraft steel. Is there any, made. is there any, like, like, I don't know if it's worse. I don't know what's worse, bad scissors or bad tweezers, but is there anything that is less gratifying to use where you can't where they get don't at connect? something? Yes. They, they're, they're sort of rounded off yeah. and you're trying to, you, you re, about like your. Like a Swiss Army knife. Your 28th uh, try on the same hair. And you realize maybe it's maybe it's not me. Maybe it's these tweezers, but I need to throw them away. Yeah. I put them back in the drawer, and then I use them a month later. Mm-hmm. All right, Justin Long is uh, here tonight from uh, Herbie Fully Loaded. Yeah, yeah. Hairy nipples abounding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and use a little duct tape, rip those right off. And if the nipple comes off on the duct tape, you got to stick it back on, mm-hmm. and then leave the duct tape on until the thing heals. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm curious, uh, Vanessa, has she try? Have you tried anything to get rid of that? No. no. I'm going with now. I'll go with Just now. pluck them. Yeah. Don't shave them. Yeah. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Justin Long is here tonight from Herbie. Fully loaded. Uh, the Donnas later on this week. Bad Religion later on this week. And the Foo Fighters later on this week. Wow. All nice. Good, all That's good awesome. bands. Much, mm-hmm. well, yeah. Much better than me. No. Well, no, music, music, yeah, like, yeah, but there's no way one of those Donnas could have played a VW. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I don't know. Well, the one is a little heavy set, but I don't think car size, Drew. No. No, no. no, yeah. no. Not, I mean, that's unrealistic <laughs> right there. The uh, the original uh, Herbie, the Love Bug, they probably mm-hmm. made like, th- what did they make, three of them, two of them? How many did they make? They made four. Four of them. Four or five. There was, there was a TV one a couple of years ago with Bruce Campbell, the guy but, with the big chin. But the move... Oh, well, sure. Um, yeah. Don Nosser's Army of Darkness. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a cult classic. Uh, the very first one is one we all think of, I think. The yeah. theater. In the theater. Yeah, and that like, was with that guy that was also in it was in all those Disney films. Don, what was his name? Yeah. Dean, Dean, Dean Jones? Jones. Dean, Dean Jones, Jones yeah. was in everything. Yes. And, but Don Buddy Knotts Hackett? was in... Buddy Hackett was yep. like the mechanic... Yeah, and uh, I believe even the guy that played the dad in Mary Poppins. Yes, was yeah, he yeah, was yeah. a Rolls Royce dealer, as yeah. I recall. The one with the little mustache. Yes, little, yeah. and uh, yeah, there really see back in the day there were like nine actors. Drew, don't bounce you on the mic. No, there were like That's five right. that worked for Disney. There were five that worked for Disney and nine overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that there was like, and there was like four bikers. And they did, like, every Clint Eastwood movie. It's right. like a fat guy with the beard, <laughs> right. you know? And I mean, there that, was eight bad guys Western. And they were all, like, Shakespeare trained, like, very gay. Like. And, and <laughs> any time anytime you did a movie where you needed a biker or Western guy, it was always the same guy. Mm-hmm. And you just kind of got used to seeing him. And after a while, I just figured, well, that's the biker. He's, he's a biker. He's a biker in every every movie. But Nigel uh, Covington. Herbie was uh, probably, what, Drew, late 60s? Ooh. Justin, don't you have to do some I homework on 68, this? 68, 69? Yeah. I got a question that I, they said, you know, it was the second highest grossing movie that year, like 68, 69. I said, what's the highest? And they said, I was like, is it The Graduate? I thought it was The Graduate. They said, Butch Cassidy. And Butch, I would have put it the same year as Butch Cassidy. Yeah. That's what I said. Oh, you would have? Yep. Well, why'd you make the ooh when I... So was, I, I just was, put, would have put it the same year. I don't know Butch, what year that was. Oh, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid was probably like 71 or 72. No, 68. No, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. No, well, maybe I saw it a later Great on. year for movies. Yeah. Herbie and Butch <laughs> Cassidy. Yeah, what was that? The things used to stay in the theater for like two years. I think things used to come back in yes, the theater yes, five yes. years later, too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Because there's no DVD, no VCR. Yeah, they just... It'd be like, oh, um... 
you've you've not seen uh, Rosemary's Baby? It's coming back. Well, it came yeah. out in '65, and now it's '75. It's back out again, or whatever. They just bring stuff back. Yeah. I don't think they do that anymore. No. All right. So uh, where were we, Drew? To a Germany or Florida. Oh, Germany. Oh, wait. Or I got to tell them about the ten callers tonight. Oh, that go have ahead. An iTunes gift card valued at ninety nine dollars. Those over eighteen will get. A $99 iTunes gift card. Justin went to Vassar College, by mm -hmm. the way, Drew. I know that. Drew loves colleges. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you been to Vassar? It's, it's great My uh, niece went there. No, I went to Amherst, and so oh, I yeah. left all the small schools. One of the schools them. that we all wanted to get. <laughs> what did you study? Study uh, air, air cooled flat for? Engines or something? That's the VW's air cooled. Oh, not a liquid cooled yeah, uh, <laughs> engine. Yeah. What did you study over there? Acting? I, you know, I was a philosophy major. My dad's nice. a philosophy teacher. Cool. Uh, and, and so I kind of got, I, I got the philosophy bug. <laughs> what kind of philosophy? <laughs> I don't know. Was, what kind? Uh, I, I did. Uh, I, it loved play, I did Plato. I took my my dad does uh, like neo kind of theology, more theology philosophy, like uh, Aquinas and uh -huh. uh, Augustine. Saint Augustine. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Wow. Where does he teach? Fairfield University, uh -huh. Connecticut. That's where you live. That's, right. That's where you grew yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We want to talk to Brian, or do you want to talk no, to somebody talk, else? No, I'm talking, all right, we can talk, talk to, to Justin. Yeah. Brian, <laughs> no, no, we we <laughs> stopped the existence of to God? do this. Yeah, Alrighty. Brian. Yeah, yeah. What's up? I'm, hey. I'm reading the confessions right now. Oh, strangely yeah. enough, so I had a friend who was a philosophy major, but he was at CSUN, which is weird, like your philosophy major in, in Northridge somewhere. They they study like fortune cookies. He just argued with me on everything, everything I brought, and then I and then I would <laughs> I would give in to him, and then he would argue my point. There's a lot of arguing. Reading and reading the Confessions, I believe it's the first big book of uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. He, St. Augustine was clearly an alcoholic sex addict. And clearly. Yeah, definitely, yeah. When he was, he was offered the woman to come in and he was like, well, beat her out. Who's St. Augustine? He's a bishop uh, from like the 5th century mm. who uh, basically wrote the first sort of uh, philosophical, theological treatment uh, hearkening back to Plato and just sort of yeah. creating a it's philosophy. A good, it's a good name for a micro That bro. pertains to like, you know, St. Augustine? Yeah. Catholicism, yeah. yeah. But, oh, he, okay. but he created a, a uh, this way of thinking. St. Augustine's that. lager. Saint, yeah. yeah, it's a good micro brew name. True, patent that. Would you, or at least the St. Augustine's? Story? I'm yeah. sure it's out there. Okay, so. But he, he, beer. He, had a, he, was, he was a sex addict and he had to overcome all that stuff and he had it by going cold turkey. Mm -hmm. And become oh, sort of a, a monastic kind of guy. Well, you life. decided he was a sex addict, but everyone's well, I, a sex I, I, addict, right? No, no, he. Oh no, he no, complains. He, well, yeah. he all through the convention is always yeah. talking about how he this this his problem with sex. His problem with sex. He couldn't get. Did you like the the lads or no? Uh, I, I wondered. If, I wondered if the confession was not a full confession, and maybe yeah. there was some of that in there. Yeah, but uh, he only talks about the ladies. But yeah. they, it may have been because when they brought in that woman, they hired basically a prostitute for him, right? And he beat oh. her out of the room with. Oh, it. oh really? Later, 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 yeah, yeah. Once he gave it all up, but he had lots of kids. Now is this her? Be fully loaded, or is this you still talking about August? This was, he was herpes. Fully Her, herpes. Yeah, herpes. Loaded. He was upset yeah. with all the diseases. He Brian, yeah. you're 18. Uh -huh. What's up? Hey. Um, oh, by the way, this uh, this uh, Germany Four is pretty appropriate for the conversation. Okay. Um, it's about a theologian who was unfortunately shot. So uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sucks. Here we go. All right, uh, a 42-year-old man was sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison for shooting a pastor to death on a street last August. Um, the murder occurred shortly after the defendant ran over two bicyclists with a stolen car. The pastor followed him and convinced him to pull over, but when the theologian tried to call the police with a cell phone, the man opened fire with a stolen gun, hitting the mm. victim twice in the head. Uh, the mm. defendant, who was drunk at the time of the shooting, said his life had fallen apart because his uh, wife wanted to leave him. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Germany or Florida? Well, you got the gun. Packing the gun feels Florida. Mm. Running over the bicyclist feels a little German. Really? Because the bicyclist? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Little guys bad. on bikes, you hit what's, two what's of the them. What's the chance of that in Florida? Well, it's a theologian, too. Depends what part of Florida. A theologian. He doesn't, he maybe he's holding from us. a cell phone. Mm. Mm. Fallen. Yes. Oh, wow. Maybe there's something about the theologian this gentleman is withholding from us that would clue us in. The fact that he hit him twice in the head, maybe though, means he could shoot, you know? Clear water, and he's a Scientologist. Uh, I don't know. Mm. 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 I'm going Germany All right, on go this one. No, go You're going Germany? Florida. Go Florida. Go Florida. Go Florida. Go Florida. Go Georgia. Georgia. No, no, it's Germany or Florida. Oh, okay. Uh, Florida. Florida. We got two Floridas and one Germany. Here we go. Brian? Like uh, usual, you are right. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. To me, it was the accuracy, the yeah. two slugs in the head. Yeah, yeah. By the no, way, Adam, and drunk. Uh, yeah, that's a German. Hey, Adam, that's a German uh, thing. my, my yeah. girlfriend ac actually has a physiological advantage. Um, you know, talking about all these uh, negative things that you know our, our callers are having uh, physically. You know, um, she uh, actually does not produce any body odor at all. 
Your girlfriend. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's what you think because yeah, you love you her. Smell. I got away from her. Pass out. My girlfriend doesn't like need it. Yeah. Or antiperspirant or anything like that. And uh, it's actually I looked it up and she yeah she doesn't produce any lipids, which I think uh, odor causing bacteria. Um, mm. No, I'm Brian. No, no. It was also the name of the uh, hyena. She, she produces that. something. You just don't smell it. That's one <laughs> no, thing. No. You, when people accommodate very rapidly to somebody they're around all the time, and no, you but stop smelling their some stuff. Some people have a funk. Some people uh, produce very, very little, and that has to do with the kind of bacteria. It has to do with sebaceous well, gland. He, yeah, he's not a. I mean, he's not a scientist. Yeah, he's just an idiot right, with this, a computer. That's right. Something called apocrine gland. If you want to look this up, look up the apocrine glands and the kinds of bacteria that live well, on the That's a good skin. name to, t to trademark for a wine cooler. Apocrine gland. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sign me up. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, there, here, here's what we were talking about, Justin. We were just talking about, it's an interesting philosophical question. We need to scapegoat. Human beings need to scapegoat. Mm -hmm. And if a guy smells or a girl smells either, even it's like, hey, slob, why don't you mm -hmm. take a shower? I mean, this guy never shout. You know, you have to immediately start laying all this sort of negative hygiene things. Or you get into the person's lifestyle. Look at him, a pig. You sweaty pig or, you know, fat people are pigs and they're slobs or have some self-esteem. People that smell, smell mm -hmm. for the most part. People that smell for the most part. I'm not talking about hobos. I'm talking about, you know, the guy at the gym, the professional, mm -hmm. the guys who, you, you know, you work with, who got some funk going on. They smell and they usually know they smell and they oftentimes try to overcompensate by taking two, three showers a day and putting on extra deodorant and stuff. You, when you smell, you smell. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the thing. Now, there's, you know, this much diet and there's this much stress and there's this much whatever. But smelly people smell. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know why we need to punish it's, them it's for it. It's just like the ones that produce smelly gas, which you're not one. Thank you. <laughs> Although I had it working tonight. Oh, occasionally you produce. Oh, and it Wait, would, oh, yeah. The yeah. gas is more related to gene. It's not what you've been eating. I, I've well, it's, it's you either can do it or you can't. And then you can have certain foods, certain people, different foods. Huh. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's, well, there's like Adam can rarely produce. I rarely, rarely. Produce. Are you rarely. being sarcastic? Really? No, rarely. He wow. produces lots of lots of sound and lots of volume. Yeah. I wish I was Little that guy. Sound. I yeah. wish I could be that guy. I'm like yeah. silent and just, the methane guy. Yeah. 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 It's tough on dates. Sucks, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Sitting on it is the worst. And you yeah. The build up and the, oh, it's tough. no, but it, yeah. Some and it, and if you know you're bad, you can't do anything. But at least you guys know you're bad. Here's the thing about me. I'm good 95% of the time, so I get a false sense of confidence every once in a while. Yeah, I try yeah. to squeak one out in a movie theater, and all of a sudden, oop, that was a bad one. <laughs> you know what I'm man, saying? When you're bad, you're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but here's, here's the whole thing. Uh, your, your fart smell, it's just the bacteria you have in your belly, yes, right? correct. And uh, your underarm smell, it's really just what you, your glands and what you produce. It's yes. you. Yeah. It's not because you don't shower. Well, it'd make it worse if you don't shower, just like if you eat a horrible things that but, produce right, all the methane. Most people you know shower. Yeah. I shower less. Uh, Drew, who showers less than me? Nobody. Who smells less than me? Nobody. So then how does it work? It's your genes. Thank you. Is this a myth then, Drew, that, because that, uh, I have a friend who does that. I have a couple of friends who, they, if, you don't, if you don't use a lot of soap, you don't use deodorant, you go for a certain amount of time and then you just end up smelling kind of not good, but you don't produce as much body odor. What about that, Drew? What about no. the oils and the essences? Really? You, the, may, you may what about produce stripping them away. Does your body try you may, to replenish you, you, that? Your body may do a little bit of that, but you're not going to do away with smell by not showering. Yeah. You may do away with some of the need for bathing and things. So the oils and the grease and that kind of stuff may, con may sort of re reach a sort of homeostasis. Yeah. But the smell part. We go to Europe sometime. No. Oh. <laughs> I was in Europe and I was behind this Rasta guy that had a just helmet full mm. of Rasta hair mm. that just yeah. literally hadn't seen water since uh, the late 60s. Mm -hmm. And I was just, I stood behind him in like the customs line or the passport line. It was one of those like two-hour lines where you just stand behind yeah. a mountainous smell, mountain of smell. This guy, th this guy made uh, a George Clinton smell like a, like a, like a stick-up. Who? Yeah. George yeah. Clinton has a bad odor? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really? Oh. <laughs> really? Oh, well, close your eyes for a second and just picture George Clinton. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just just kind of picture him for a second. Now close those eyes. Now picture George Clinton, the uh, godfather soul or the uh, whatever the hell he is. Godfather oh, I was thinking of Bill Clinton's yes, brother. Yes, Funk. No, no, that's, ah, that's a different one. Now picture okay. the godfather oh, yeah. Funk. George Clinton, any of that, the multicolored huge hair. Yeah. Anytime you see the dreads, there, there's going to be a problem in the funk department. Then he's a large man. Yeah, he's, he's got like a whole ecosystem. Oh, 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 my God. 
and just the humanity. Oh, yeah. Now, now put yourself behind three of him in line for two hours. And yes, <laughs> at a certain point, you're like, listen, dude, I don't care what your crappy religion tells you to do. I'm dying here. How about you hit a shower once in a while? Yeah. Out yeah. of respect. Yeah. All right. Drew, any of those religions where uh, you don't have to shave and you never get a haircut and, you, you know, you just walk like the Hasidic Jews. I got uh, 10 feet of uh, fresh packed powder on top of their backs. The dandruff is just falling. Like, is it just me or is this just convenience that their religion says uh, they got to hang out all day and not shower, and never shave is. and never do anything? Ron Jeremy's not religious. Oh, that is and He smells awful. Ron Jeremy has a little... Oh, I don't think about it. <laughs> really? He looks like he would smell really good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, my. It's a big surprise. Erica? Yes? Oh, those poor ladies. <laughs> they just got to be... Look, uh, couldn't you just drug a bear and have him fall on top of me? <laughs> we should get this over with. Really? Got to have Jeremy on top of me? Yeah, go ahead, Erica. Hi. Um, I haven't gotten my period for three months. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I've been on birth control for about... Let me say this. It's the head. It's the head that holds the stink. The hair. The pits are bad, but the, it's the noggin. It can that be just pretty bad. Big, a special stink can be bad. Big, big Hasidic Jew I beer know. and a crazy... You know, I, I, I've been eating all day, and it's I feel so like bad. vomiting now with all well, this Ron discussion. Jeremy, he's got a big hair suit sort of... Yeah. Head, yeah. Well, oh, let, yeah. Me, let me tell you. Let me say this. Bald guys hmm, don't bring too much funk with them. Oh, yes, they do. Well, that's if you if they're wrestling with you or something. But you don't stand behind a bald guy in line and go, funk. Right. No, the hair, not, the hair holds hair is in, like, yeah. The hair is like, level. That's hair, where your schnoz is. Hair is like, oh, you've been smoking, dude, or yeah. you ate this, or you've been smoking weed. Okay, like I'm going to bark out. All right. All right. <laughs> Picture Jeremy. And, you know, that porn set gets hot during yeah, summer. They you fill, brought right Jeremy in. That's my stomach just turned. If you uh, bark, it'll smell a lot. Like, yeah, there you go. Your, Picture Chatsworth in August. Ron Eric Jeremy's, Jeremy's balls. well lubed Jeremy's going so for Erica, a double can I just say this on you? Drew, Ron Jeremy's balls. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? I don't normally have a delicate stomach, but tonight you've done it to me. Erica? Yes? You're 19? Yes. What's yep. up? Um, I haven't gotten my period for three months, mm -hmm. and I've been on birth control for about three years now. And I what are you, ta what are you taking? Uh, ortho tricyclin low. Okay. Have you had mm -hmm. a pre Have you had a pregnancy test recently? Yeah, I had. I've had like a couple of um, at home pregnancy tests, and the one at the clinic. Okay. And they all come out negative, but I wanted to know if it had anything to do with um, me smoking marijuana. Mm. Um. You know, I, I can't say that it does. No, uh, you would, there would be a lot more pill dysfunction if pot had a significant effect on that because a lot of people use that drug and that doesn't seem to see well, Although anything can affect the function of your pill, I'd be more inclined to think that it's the fact that it's the low-dose triphasic that you're on that can, can be more likely to cause problems like lack of period. What percentage of 20-year-old chicks or 19 to 25-year-old females in this country are on some pill form of birth control. I don't know. No, it must be at least 50%, I would think. Well, maybe not at least, but yeah. but let's it's say, up there. Let's say 50%. Millions and millions. Yes, millions and millions. And, and the, the amount of them that smoke smoke some weed. Also millions and millions. Right. And yet, and the dysfunction of the pill is on the order of 0.03%. Right. So. All right, I, Erica, I think it's so a what you talk to your doctor. Get it adjusted? Yeah, you may want to go on the regular triphasic pill, not just the low. Then talk to your doctor about that, okay? Erica, wh um, where do you get your weed from? Um... <laughs> Well, I get it from a friend, actually, uh, yeah. that sells. Oh, I see. They get it from someone who sells spot. <laughs> I'll write that down. Cause it's I, bizarre. I, it's bizarre. I normally get it from uh, I'm Amish guys dressed in uh, Santa suits, but uh, you, you get it from a pot dealer. I see. How do you get from the Amish guys guy? in Santa suits? Yeah, let me write that down. Pot <laughs> dealer. Usually a good idea. So <laughs> I'll just write drug dealer. So that way, makes it easy. If you want to know where to get the coke or to get the heroin, you, just, you get it from the dealer. Right? That makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Here's my relationship with marijuana. Now, people give me pot, and my friends smoke it hmm. until it's gone. That's how it basically works. Nice. But you know, if you're going to entertain, you're going to be hip Hollywood like I am. You got to have some weed around the house. You know what I mean? There people come by. They want to. They want to toke out. You know, they want to know if I'm cool. And also. Pot smells great now, Drew. Have you smelled any Not pot really, recently? No. Mm -hmm. now remember 
back, you know, when you were scoring those uh, dime bags of shake back in the day, <laughs> you would have to bury your face inside. Like, you do, I think you buy a bag of weed and you have to shove your face in. Like, <laughs> you know, the face would have, you'd actually suffocate from in, inhaling the uh, Ziploc bag it was in. Now, guy pops open his, uh, you know, cam, his film case. You're on the other side of the room. It's like, yeah. <laughs> what, a skunk fart? What, what is that? What, what's going on in here? And then it's like, oh, my God, I can smell that pot from down the street. <laughs> you can't even really transport pot anymore. It, sm it smells so much. Remember when, like, Be Real would come in and give me some weed? Yeah, yeah. I was to drive home hey, I was holding it outside of my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, be, be real from, from uh, Cypress, Cypress Hill. Sure, yeah. He would come in every once in a while. I didn't know those guys smoked pot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't think. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You see, that's why you can't judge a book by its cover. I thought hits from the bong was a metaphor. No. No. no some of them, I don't think the entire uh, band of... Uh, of, of marijuana addicts or mar <laughs> smoke marijuana cigarettes? No, I don't. only on 420. I, no, no, yeah, no. I don't. But I do know that the lead s singer of the band, at least at this point in time, had marijuana. I've flown on. with those guys before. And the moment they hit the ground, God, the moment oh, yeah. they begin searching. What percentage of their songs was about smoking pot? Would you? Say? I would. I would guess it was over fifty. Somewhere between 100 and 110. Yeah, percent. 110. Say a little yeah. over 100 yeah. percent. They have some nice power ballads. They owe 10 percent pot songs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Like you pot residuals? <laughs> they they actually pot? have to write five more pot-related songs. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, go for what you know. That's all I'm saying. It's made them uh, literally millionaires. They're laughing all the way to the park to score more weed. <laughs> oh, boy, if they could just give back a portion, get back a portion of what they've spent. Oh, uh, be, be Real has be real, a, three more his, houses. His, his pot is so pungent, so when he gives me pot, I don't know how I'm going to get it home. I'm going to have to create some sort of pot-proof little locker in order to transport it. Bobo you know finally I mean? gave up pot. You could see it like, came to life again. Bobo gave up pot? There for a while. I don't know if he got treated or what. But... Oh, really? Word on the street? Yeah. Bobo. He'll be back. Yeah. How but... does a guy named Bobo give up pot? That's, That's a hard struggle. thing to do. He might change his name, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did John. All right. You ready to uh, take a break? Yep. Oh, take a break? Yep. All right. Mm. Oh, oh, this oh, this is interesting here. Recently masturbated for first time, now doing it eight times a day. The Adam Carolla story. Uh, this is Jeff. I had called earlier. And <laughs> Jeff? Yeah, hey. What's yeah, up? Hey. Hey, is this Dr. Yeah. Drew? Yes, that is Dr. Drew. Um, so, I don't know I don't know what to do about my problem. All right, That's hold on. I got bogus. Now I got that. bogus, yeah. too. Jeff, you know what I think that was? Your friend. That was my brother. Yeah. Jeff, this is bogus. Yeah, we can tell bogus. Christian, right? well you got, done. You got he wants to be an actor. He got nothing. He wants you to be an actor. You got to work on your technique, boy. Keep your day job. <laughs> I want to talk about my problem. Come on, buddy. You can do better than that. Is, is this Christian? I love you, though, we've Christian. Been trying, we've been trying so hard. We've been trying so hard. We've been trying so hard. Yeah, and somehow this I is my through. girlfriend. I, it was, yeah. yeah. Bogus calls don't work. Yeah. They don't I know. Work. I know. All right. Well, but it was, know. It, it was... Novel <laughs> idea, though. <laughs> yeah. So, is this... This is Justin's brother, Christian? Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> going good. It, well, it was going fine until that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I... I... I That's think. all right. You did you did a fantastic job. We didn't know it was <laughs> bogus so until three <laughs> syllables into it. You got at least three syllables in. Yeah, yeah. Normally, yeah, three syllables. All right. May I, Jeff, may I, su Sug a new may career? I suggest, a no, new career? I'm going to suggest no. uh, Cynthia Segetti's class over at Acme. <laughs> they meet at the uh, Highland Church over there on Sundays in the basement. It's a little, you know, it's basic. It's who, what, where, not only that, but, you know. I like it. Okay. All right, thanks. Uh, you want you want to say hi or uh, hey, bye, Fred. Christian? Uh, well, anything? hi and bye, I guess. All right, try to refrain from having sex with Justin's obviously hot girlfriend. <laughs> She's very until obviously. he gets back to the hotel, She's very and what, then you may. Do you have any uh, any take his time over there? And, uh, <laughs> I'll do what I can. All right. Do you, do you yes. have any suggestions for bogus callers that may be interesting? I mean, like that. Obviously, that's a bad way to go to be like, look, I have a problem to like lay it out so directly. Yeah. Is there a way to to get around us? You, you got to really know how people would behave in certain. You got you got to yeah. understand real pathology. You yeah, have to yeah, seen yeah. it. Maybe you saw a family member go through it or something, and then you got to act it out exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to understand why somebody would call a radio station to discuss mm -hmm. it. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. No, I I'd say the biggest. Well, what are the two biggest sort biggest of thing red is, flags? The biggest for red bogus? flag for us is we don't we don't feel it. So we mm -hmm. don't we don't we don't get any affects attached to it. How they sound, yeah. How, they How sound. it makes us feel. Two is mm -hmm. no question. 
Why, mm. why did you call? It, mm. I don't understand why you call. They're just saying I have a problem. No, no, no their, their problem is, should I yes. confront somebody or what should I do? It, 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 people don't call right, with that. Right, but right. it is no huh. question with a proclamation of a question. Yes. Because we oftentimes have no question calls that aren't bogus. This is, the, the, I have a question, stress calls. but yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. have a question. Yeah. The yeah. bogus is, I'm going to ask you a question, but it's not. Not a question. All right. Mm. Justin Long is uh, here. With his uh, brother, your brother's thing was, his was heel. now I'm doing his eight time a day. Normal, like normal question mark or help question mark. Right, right. right. No, <laughs> right. not a question. Really, it's not. It's awesome. All right, Chris. Well, well it's, it's, it's 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 nice to be validated every once in a while. I love you, Chris. Uh, Herbie, uh, fully loaded, out uh, this Wednesday, the twenty second of June. We'll take a quick break. Be right back after this. Hey, everybody! It's Love Line. I'm Adam. I'm funny. That's Dr. <laughs> Drew over there. Justin Long is here tonight. Justin is uh, going to be uh, starring in uh, Herbie Fully Loaded, which is, uh, seems like they've been, I've seen billboards. I've been it for and a while. I've seen mm. billboards for this thing mm. for three you know, months, mm, four two, months. Two no. and change. Uh, June, a good week. June 22nd, which is coming out uh, this uh, coming uh, Wednesday. And uh, what else you got going, Justin? Oh, God. Where do I begin? Uh, my Actually, my girlfriend and I were in a movie coming out in September called Waiting hmm. with Ryan Reynolds and uh, Louis Guzman. I did the Mike Judge movie. Luke Wilson. Um, about to start a movie with Vince Vaughn. Wow. Cool. Jennifer Aniston, yeah. So wow. I'm, I'm playing a crazy redneck now uh, in a movie with the guys who did Napoleon Dynamite. So I have this wonderful mustache. You can't see uh -huh. it. I wish yeah. you could. I wish you could all see this gorgeous it's mustache hot. I have. It is hot. <laughs> It sounds like you drank some cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's a post stash. Some dirt. It is. It is. No, it's dirty a, Sanchez. It's a, it's a good look. It is a hot look. Yeah, dirty and uh, Ryan Reynolds, great guy. He's a great guy. Remember him, Drew? No. Uh, three Guys Girl on a Pizza Place? Yes. I do remember him. That's Ryan Reynolds, three right? right? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. 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 Good guy. Am I right? He's a good guy. Yeah, he yeah. was on this great show. Great guy. Yeah. All right, you ready, Drew? Yep. Uh, let's talk to Chris, who's 23. Chris? Yes. What's up? I actually have two things. One, Adam Carolla, you're awesome. Thank two, you. Justin Long, you are an extremely talented actor. But <laughs> he you knows. He was telling us during the break. Was, he has What's a that? unique voice? He has a very distinct voice. Oh, thank you very much. Um, you did um, an audio book for Stephen yeah. King. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering if you had any other plans on doing any more audio book work. This is a bogus call. Really? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, that's awesome. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I would love yeah. to. That, that stuff's fun. You just kind of sit and do... Uh, I, 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 as soon as he's done working with Aniston and uh, Vince Vaughn, he's going to go right back <laughs> no. to uh, the classics on audio. <laughs> no, I did. Agents flying into... I mean, you know. I, that's those, big money. No, it was fun. I know I, they're... they're yeah, they were, you do. Uh, you try to pull out all the. I, I, I like to do. I like to do impressions. Yeah, yeah. I'll do a couple for you if you like. Uh, no, but I, I, I remember. Appreciate it. No, no, I, but I remember just kind of doing. You know, you have to read all the different characters, and it's fun to kind of. Do you do them all? You, how does that? I've never. Uh, Drew, well, Drew gave me a book on cassette, but then I don't have a cassette in my car, so I don't you, listen to it. You just sit down and read. You usually get like a, a couple paragraphs in, and they'll stop you if you kind of mess up on a word. Your mouth gets really dry. Yeah. Uh, I remember this. The Stephen King. Do you King, read the entire book? Yeah. In the Stephen, studio? Yeah. You just oh. kind of read through it. It's fun. How How do they find you for that? I had done. Uh, I don't know. I had done like a Judy Bloom book or something like, uh, you know, like I, I'm going through puberty or one of those books. And and, uh, and I think from that, they'd, I don't know how I got it. Is I, there just sort of a, I, I always wonder, like like when Fabio was like the uh, number one model for Harlequin romances. And man, it's like, yeah. I'm always like, you guys happen? couldn't, f you guys couldn't mm -hmm. go to any junior college, just find yeah. a guy from the baseball team that looked good with a shirt off? He cornered the market. No, no, he does all the work, this guy. <laughs> but why? I, he, he, oh, you know this business. Well, go ahead and draw some, draw some <laughs> muscles on on the other guy. You're, no, no, he uh. does them all. He does them all. But uh, maybe the audio book world is that way too. Maybe it's just a very small list of people they choose from. Well, you know those voiceovers. It's amazing. You find like a lot of people. Even those car commercials. A lot of them are like Kiefer Sutherland and like Billy Crudup, and they're like yeah. kind of big. They're, like Donald Sutherland does a lot. They're, they're like these big people who do like kind of tags, like yeah. welcome to Saab. Like, yeah, know, I like, always hear like uh, Richard Dreyfus. Is he? Yes, Honda? Richard Dreyfus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does uh, 
He does Honda, but he's like bad. It's just cash. Yeah, it's just it's uh, they call that uh, no ID stuff, Drew. You don't mm. have to put your name on it. You still yeah. make a ton of money, and people sort of know who you are on a subconscious right, level. Right, right. I think that's why they like it because uh, a it sounds familiar, but it's just sort of soothing that it sounds familiar. But you don't think Richard Dreyfus yes. when you think Honda, right? Yes? Yes. Yes? Yes. It's kind of the equivalent to, you know, Kevin Costner going to Japan and yeah. doing some sake commercial for five right. million bucks. Right. So right. books on tape, there's, there's no money. I mean, it's just kind of... Uh, but it's I'm cool. Sure. It's Which cool. It's fun. Gene Hackman do? Hackman does, does Lowe's. Lowe's. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he does Lowe's. That's right. Yeah. Huh. True, no? No? This Hackman? is great stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. This is gold. <laughs> <laughs> True. True, that's not for you. That's not your bag. True, this is your field. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to rock? Yeah, yeah. Drew, you'd like to do a book on cassette, right? Sure. Yeah, I've been to that. Well, you'll Absolutely. do your own book one day. Uh, yeah. One day. <laughs> Have you done yours yet? Uh, no. No. But one day, right? Yeah, and maybe when that day comes, you'll hear it. I'll hear it. Drew's mad because I haven't read his book, but I explained to him I don't read. I believe it poisons the mind. It's a, it's a sex book? that you're No, no, no. Or a book about treating drug addicts. Oh. Oh, it's no sex, and I'm really no, not reading it. You should get Ted Levine. I'm fascinated by the guy from Silence of the Lambs. Mm. Mm. Put the lotion in the basket. That guy. You should get him to do... <laughs> do, your, your own, do the thing, yeah. Your drug, your drug addiction is a very difficult, you know... That also know. sounds like the teacher from South Park. I think, uh, Drew, I could probably get... Uh, yeah. I could I could probably get Gilbert Godfrey to do your... <laughs> oh, thing too. then you'd listen, like I'm saying. <laughs> Nicholas? Yeah, hey, guys. 24? Yeah, that's right. I'm calling from Davis. Um, yeah. I have an experience. Go Aggies. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Go um, college. I have an experience with my current girlfriend and with an ex-girlfriend. I'm sure this is a common problem for listeners. Um, when I'm giving them... When I'm going down, um, there's been... Bleeding, vaginal bleeding, and mm. I've heard. Sounds so so chipper this about this. I'm fully erect right now. Doctor Drew, um, I'm live erect, but I'm getting there. To stress, is that true? Is it related to stress? Could it be related to stress or? Yeah, it could be, but typically there are some women that just have bleedings stimulated by sexual arousal. Usually intercourse, not usually oral sex. Mm. But Maybe that's I'm a too aggressive. Uh, whatever. Oh, that, yeah. That's a common thing. Take those puka shells off. And if they're on the birth control pill, really getting up in some women, again, <laughs> tend to have a little more what's called endometrial instability and may be more prone to uh, bleeding. So, Drew, okay. let, me, let me say this. You stop me if I'm wrong. You, you have those sort of mucosal surfaces down there, yes, right? Yes, yes. And when the woman gets stimulated, a lot of blood goes Close to, to the that area, area. Sure. and and, mm. the, and this thing is it's sort of the difference between water resistant waterproof yes this is resistant but it's not proof right so stuff may come leaking down yeah mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah this is uh yeah you could get it wet but don't wear it near the pool that's right that's the difference between water resistant water. Mm -hmm. the vagina is, is blood resistant but it's not blood proof mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there's that the, you know the endometrius sitting there just a little tiny cervical os keeping it from the outside world. Mm -hmm. And if it's unstable or thickened, stuff just leaks through when you stimulate it or, or traumatize it. Mm -hmm. I, uh, speaking of philosophy, was uh, taking a nice walk around my neighborhood uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. actually, walking the dog. And they're doing some big construction project, mm -hmm. tearing off the top of a mountain. And they're working on Saturdays. Why? I don't know. They're doing something. I don't know what they're well, building. They I, have, I have no... No, they're not developing something, but they're, the city is doing something. Huh. And so... They had those water trucks and backhoes and stuff. It's all it's on the other side of the hill, but it's the dueling now. Meep, oh, meep, right. meep. And it's awesome because I started, because I'm insane, I started timing them and figured out it was every second. <laughs> but when you get three trucks all backing up simultaneously, meep, 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 and they're, they're, they're sort of, it's different uh, directions, dueling, yeah. but it's dueling beeps. And if one truck is every second, then three trucks, well, you do you do the math. And I was just sort of standing on it, and I thought, yeah, it's a beautiful Saturday. I'm out walking my dog, and but it's just, I'm sort of ruined because neep, neep, neep. And then I realized I can barely see the goddamn trucks from where I'm standing. I mean, it's literally, it is, if I ran to dive under the back of one of those trucks, it would take a good 20-minute hike, and that's running like uh, Pepion. It's uh, <laughs> running from those those evil guys trying to shoot them with the spear guns. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I mean, it's like... Ha! And I, I started going, I said, A, it's Saturday, and B, that I thought to myself, this is it. 
this is the top of a mountain. There's not a kid. There's not anyone playing ball. There's no streets. You know, there's no kid going to go running across the thing chasing his Frisbee or anything. Like, can you shut the goddamn thing off if there's nobody around except for other construction workers? who Nobody on foot, by the way. OSHA. There's nobody on foot. Must Here it is. Law. There's there's like four trucks. There's like, you got a skip loader, you got a backhoe, and you got a water truck, and no man is actually on terra firma. Everyone is behind the wheel, but it's beep, 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 beep. Everyone's just beeping away. And I thought, it said, really? And what does the distance have to be on this? Does it need to be three miles? And I just start, I start going ballistic. My, this is my wife. She's like, okay, now you're ruined now. But I was like, how many of these beeps have I heard in my life? So several hundred million. Okay, how many times have I moved? Uh, zero. 700 beeps versus never move. Most of the beeps I've heard from the safety of my own bed. Mostly in bed. Once in a while, I'm up in the kitchen. I'm not usually up when I'm hearing the beeps because it's a garbage man. It's early in the morning. It's a garbage truck. But I realize the lion's share of the beeps I've heard have been from inside the goddamn house. I'm not even outside. Really? This is the society we want, everybody? Your Saturday is effed up by these trucks that are dueling miles away from you? What does the effective range of the beef have to be? This is all OSHA. I know, but if you can't get behind the vehicle yeah. that's going to back you over... I have over, to have trash cans in every room in my office that say biohazardous material, even oh. though I don't handle biohazardous material. Wow. Oh. But, but is, that, is, is the idea, this may sound really dumb, is the idea that there would be somebody within the vicinity of the, of the truck backing up? Or, uh, yeah, the idea is... The, the idea is there's a... There, my look. Prius has it. I, I back up in my uh, Prius. Oh, oh now beep, it's... Beep, it, beep, yeah, beep, it, oh, in it's, your car. Yeah, and inside, in the car. Inside. It's, 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 it's infuriating. Yeah, so if you now, don't wear a seatbelt, it... Not only that, but just what goes on inside of a car every time you open your car door and you're like talking to uh, someone in the keys in ignition because you want to listen and yeah. it's like do we need all that here's all i'm saying give us the option to shut it off yeah just how fast by the way if i said uh, look there's a switch in your car you just go ahead and you punch that switch and it no longer has the thing with the beeps and the clangers and but you yeah. just you'd, you'd sprint to your car and dive on that button would you not immediately oh <sighs> I just thought to myself, really, it's a weekend, it's the morning, I got three trucks going and there's nobody even close to it. Why do we need this? Your philosophy major, help me understand this. What can we do about it? I think it's, I think it's for us to appreciate the silence when it happens. Oh, I yeah, yeah. see. You want to try that? Evil and Enjoy good. the break. Let's good. do it. No, let's do the silence on the air so good other people can enjoy it. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's not silent. <sighs> Oh, sorry. All right, let's really let's try it again, okay. right, Justin. Let's it's concentrate. Let's try silence again this time. See if you can handle, you know, because you kind of ruined it with the slurping noise last time. All right, right. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cue silence. Yeah. I'm gonna give a silent Speaking cue. Speaking of ruining silence, let's well, go. hold on a second, Weisenheimer. I'm gonna give a silent countdown on a silent cue. I'll do the five, four, and then the last two. Let's go already. Be the finger. Well, hold on, Drew. You know, like right, in don't TV, do it. I don't do want that. to do the silence anymore. No, I'm not I'm doing it. I'm not do doing it. Are you Slow ready? Down. You ready? In five, four, three, two. <laughs> I got the giggles. <laughs> we gotta try it again. We gotta do it again. Silence is funny. I got punchy. I, I it was like you know, like when you're like at camp and you're thirteen, you're like, don't laugh, don't laugh. You can't you know you get the giggles. All right, let's try it one more time. You ready? I'm gonna cue silence in five, four. <laughs> True, no. You're giving me the giggles. <laughs> True. Go on, I'm getting punchy. Let's go. All right? Okay. This time... Constraint. Yeah, let's just really focus now. I'm going to uh, cue silence in five, four, three, two... Everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Howdy. Dr. Drew over there. Just long here tonight from Herbie. Fully ah, loaded. Thanks. Which is, uh, we've decided in the movie department, the third. Oh. They did a Herbie. They did the first one. Then I think they must have done a second yeah, one. Must They've done TV one. shows and stuff, but this got to be the third or fourth. And they, I think there's more than that. Don't they make you research that? They did. Let me tell you, these actors are like. I think it's number twelve. Uh, these actors like are like. Guys? No, they're like the athletes when uh, Mike Ditka's their coach, and uh. like, coach, you played, you play college, though, right? No, no, I was, uh, 
I was all pro for 10 years in the NFL. <laughs> really? In the NFL. <laughs> it's awesome when your, te- your team has no idea you actually played before. Not, no, you know, it's a weird it's a weird thing. It's like we have race car drivers uh, on the show all the time, don't know much about cars. Right. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. you know, I'm just, just saying. I, I, th- there's a whole a NASCAR true actor element. would watch the entire yeah, you would think. Herbie series. I That's tried to get into that. I play a mechanic. I tried to get into right. some of the mechanics of it. and, and, and they Yeah, were, yeah. No, did you hang out with mechanics <laughs> for a few months leading we, into the role? We had, yeah, I hung out with magic cars for a while. And, and it... Uh, just to get into the whole vibe of it, but I, I uh, it did. This is like a Disney movie. So finally, the director was like, "I was like, is it a three-inch wrench or a four-inch wrench that you used to like adjust the carburetor?" And the director was like, uh, "Who cares? It's like a kid's movie about a magic car, really." Yeah, <laughs> you know, they almost always say uh, use the wrong tool, and I'm the only one that ever, ever bought. Yeah, yeah. Distracted. That movie's yeah. so unrealistic. Yeah, oh, I totally. No, I stand up in the theater yeah. and start yelling, "Fake oh, yeah. fake out, <laughs> chippo!" I yell. Never mind the car that like winks and yeah. smiles. Go ahead, Drew. What do you got? Uh, it's our last night with the iTunes giveaway. The first ten oh. callers are eighteen or older. Get an iTunes gift card valued at ninety nine dollars. That's ninety nine songs. All right, you ready, Drew? Let's talk to Betty, our caller who goes by Betty. Yes, Betty. Hello. Twenty four. Hi. hi. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, What's up? <laughs> hi. Hi guys. I love you all. Um, I was calling because I used to be like sexually compulsive, and mm. I'm starting to like not be that way anymore, <laughs> but. It's hard because, like, I'll tell a guy, oh, I used to, you know, like, hook up a lot really fast, so I don't want to do that with you. And yeah. somehow that gets translated to, okay, cool, so we can be in bed in, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, I, I, don't, don't, don't bring that up with guys. Yeah. Do not bring that up. Okay. Yeah. You know what that's yeah. like for the guy? I was just thinking about it. You know when you oh. go out and uh, you're at the steak joint and you go, I'll have the prime rib. And they're like, oh, well, you want a center cut or an end cut? And you're going... Uh, give me an end cut. Give me some uh, extra au you on there, too. And, and, they leave, and then yeah. and a little extra horseradish. Uh, uh, creamy or regular? Yeah. Give me the cream. Bring them both. And then 20 minutes later, the waitress goes, we're out of the uh, yeah, prime rib. People love that cut. I'm, I'm they like, love it, but not for you. Not so they for come you. back and they go, we're out. We're out of it. And you just go, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. now I'm ruined. Yeah. Ben, yeah, we, his, we got the salmon, though. Oh. His thinking is, why not me? You would do this from yeah, you can't, me. You what? can't do that to a yeah. guy. You can't talk about yeah. the prime rib and then say you're out yeah. of it. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> say you never way. had it. That's fine. We have but cheeseburgers. Yeah. <sighs> that's some okay. weird fish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. I have another question, too, to follow that up. All right, so don't so. bring it up. Don't eat. You know what, uh, Drew? What's my saying? More hi- mystery, less history. Yes. Do not bring up the past with guys. It screws them up. And, and don't bring up anything. Don't have any guys like, yeah, I had a guy who was into penis flogging for a while. It was cool, but it got old after about eight months. And plus, you know, it fra- fractured my orbital socket, too. So I'm not into that anymore. It's like, uh, I got to picture some guy, like, beating him with his penis. What's the other question, Betty? Okay, all right. Well, then if I, like, start dating a, like, a good guy, mm. then... Um, you lose interest. Sabotage. You lose interest. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what did like, you, What happened with your dad? Like, picks, mm-hmm. picks. Actually, he's, I, I know you know the first question he's asked, but he's, like, really cool. And mm-hmm. so the the only thing I can trace it to is, like, he just worked, like, tons when I was little and was, like, mm-hmm. never. A little yeah. abandoning. Also, Here's uh, the other thing, too. A lot of 24-year-old women go through a phase, but this little drug addict stuff, a little bit mm-hmm. of an alcoholic thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, there, not not in my direct family, but in all around it, like uncles yeah. and grandfathers and stuff. I think yeah. you may have got that gene going because this sounds like that. Well, all uncles, to be fair, have to drink. <laughs> I, I was disappointed when my my sister had a couple of boys, but now I realize I, I got to hit the booze because I get you got to be the drunk. Everyone has a <laughs> here's the deal: I, the pressure's on me because I'm the only brother. Right. I got it's just me and my sister. So you got to be the abuser. You got to be the drunk. Yeah, but kids, first off, those kids aren't going to molest themselves. Yeah, yeah I got to get Someone's over. Got to do it. I got to get over there, and I got to get drunk. <laughs> yeah. And and now, if my, now if we had a big family and there were three or four brothers, I'd be like, okay, listen, Steve, uh, Stu, you Lou. go, Stu and Lou. You guys start drinking. You start molesting. I'm busy. I got a career over here. But now, what am I going to do? I'm the only brother. Suck it up. Right, it's Uncle Adam, the the guy. Uh, he. What do you want to say? Hey, no, I don't think he was attracted to me. He drank. Eh. On occasion, no, no, you don't hear that. He was out of out of control, raging alcoholic. Well, maybe if you stop calling your red wine your medicine, 
What's my medicine? I know. The, the point your is, angel. The, the point is my muse, my medicines, <laughs> my therapist. It's the all rolled up angel. into one. Yeah. Point is, is Go I'm going to have to get with the booze and get with the molested. Because that's just how it's the family's your, uncles, family. that's it's your how duty. The uncles go. Hey, I'm an uncle now. So I was a brother. Were, were you, I didn't have to do anything. Were you drinking when you were doing all this acting out? No, that's the problem. I was totally sober. Mm. Yeah. All right. Then all no right. sexual abuse in your history. No, no. That was the first thing I looked to. Did, and did, and initially yeah. I didn't start out that way. And it just, I was like, oh, wow, this is like really fun. Right. And yeah. then I just. Here, here's you know. the thing you're, you're 24. You will grow out of this. Some have this more than others. The, the, alcohol, women, the alcohol tendency, though, will will put some energy into this. Yeah, there's yeah. just some women, though, that really, and you should be growing out of it at 24, but yeah. from 16 hey. to 25, they, uh, 23, they like the bad boys. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And you're always going to be a little bit into that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, then, right. then with those good guys, how do I... Ah, right, that's enough. Just find a guy you like and try not to sabotage <laughs> right. it. Right. And here's the deal. You're not going to get, you're not going to marry the next guy you meet. See if you can find a guy who's good to you, who respects you, and see if you can hang in for one year before you f his friend and sabotage it. Or, or how about and then the next one? See if you can make it to split, sixteen split months. The difference, not not go with the guy that's super nice, but also not go for the guy you're super attracted to. Kind of, yeah, in between, in between. Some of you are attracted to it may not be a perfect, yeah, nice nice guy, but a little bad boy guy. But yeah, right, not a clean record. Not not a bunch of uh, a lot of misdemeanors, not felonies. There you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Brushes with the law. Right. Yes. Yes. Brushes. We'll take a, a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Well, that's the show. Justin Long, want to thank you uh, very much for coming in. Thank you, guys. Can I do a quick shout out? Sure. Leaf, Carrie, Max, um, my baby, Caitlin. Christian, huh? who we all know. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty time of day. Great, we heard great artist. And Christian. Yeah. <laughs> what a talent. That's been, wow. He should be on stage right now. Yeah. <laughs> Every moment that kid is not on he, stage is a waste of lost moment. humanity. That's <laughs> really a loss. He's a treasure. He's we got to get on. Uh, we got to have James Lipton speak of him immediately <laughs> about his greatest, bogus phone calls. Brilliant. Greatest prank phone caller ever. Um, bad religion. The. Uh, the uh, the brains of bad religion will be in here uh, tomorrow night, and then uh, Foo Fighters and the Donnas there this week. Uh, Herbie, uh, fully loaded, everyone coming out uh, this Wednesday. And until next time, it's Adam Crowley for Doctor Drew saying mahalo. I get the feeling if Kelsey heard music coming from a small object, she'd try to pry out. it open and yeah. let the band out. This has been Love Line. Love Line. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. Or the station. The producer for Loveline is Anne Engold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.